and welcome to a real conversation between two native English speakers. I'm Liz Wade, and this is Adam Navis. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Sorry, I guess I usually say, hi, Adam, but I just, anyway, this yeah. is uh, how this morning is going. We're just going with the flow, which I feel like is a very spotlight thing to do. Yes. But. We are actually here to talk about the Spotlight English program, Why Do People Lie? No, we're not. And I am... <laughs> see, see what I, I just did lie. there? I told a lie. <laughs> so I told a lie. lie all around. I told a lie to yeah. make a joke. Yes, exactly. Uh, so we're gonna talk about why people lie. And if you have not checked out that program yet, if you haven't listened to it or read through it, you can find it on our website at spotlightenglish.com. And if you would prefer to go to YouTube, you can go to YouTube. Our channel is Spotlight English. You can find us there and you can listen to the program and read along as a video plays. Um, or if you prefer podcasts and you just prefer to listen to it, check it out on a podcast wherever you get podcasts. Um, and we would love to have you listen to that program and then come on over here with us in this discussion, this conversation where we talk about what is going on when people lie. And so, Adam, yes, how often do you lie? Now, be honest. Um, <laughs> well, I there it's very rare that I e uh, lie to um. A high quality lie. I I try to be honest. I try to. That is true. I be, I believe you to be a very honest person. Thank you. I know you to be a very honest person. But if we have a wide view of lying, I probably do lie at least a couple times a day. For instance, if yeah, if you would if you would say to me, uh. Hey, how does my how does my hair look today? Let's say we're we're getting ready for this, and I would say, oh, it would look good. And I I wouldn't critically evaluate your hair to the level that, you know, if you were going to a you know a fancy wedding or something like that. Uh, so it's not right. really a lie. Well, I hope you would tell me if my hair looked bad. Well, I would if it looked bad, but I, <laughs> I I'm trying to think of those things where you you don't tell the full truth. So maybe that's a bad yeah. example. Um, you know, well, if, if someone made a good meal and it was good, but not great, I wouldn't be like, no, this is <laughs> yeah. bad. I don't want you to ever make this again. I would appreciate yeah. that they had put in the time and the effort to make something for me. Yeah, that's true. I think, um, if you're thinking about like, you know, maybe little lies you tell during the day, maybe they don't matter or whatever. Um, and we'll talk about this a little bit later in the program, I think, um, I think if you have kids, mm. sometimes you that impacts your lying. And now I'm not saying that I lie to my kids. I think that's I exactly what you're saying. No, it's not what I'm saying. But like, um, you know, I do know that like some parents, I'll say, um, you know, maybe there's a noisy toy, right, that has a lot of that has batteries in it and it makes a lot of very annoying noise. And we have a nice program about how sometimes noise is too much in your life and you need to get rid of noise. So maybe you took the batteries out of that toy and the kid um, you know, wants the, wants the noise from the toy and you say, oh, that toy's broken or it ran out of batteries. Right. Now that's a lie, but yeah. does it really matter? That's a hard one. <laughs> uh, yeah, I feel like you would be like, yeah, you should never say that. No, 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 no. <laughs> but sometimes I reach a limit and I'm like, no, that needs to stop. Okay. So I, I, I will so like, agree, I, agree that like with children, um, you know, I, I, I think when there's power dynamics at play, that's interesting because, you know, we've also, I've also had people in my life, relatives, as they get very old, have kind of lost yeah. uh, their ability to understand where they are in the world. And they they lose a sense of who's alive and who's dead. And sometimes lying yes. to them uh, to say, oh, yeah, that person, wouldn't it be nice, you know, if they came over? And you kind of, I mean, essentially, you don't have to constantly remind them that they're, that yes. the, the people that they care about have already died. Um, 
do you remember that we have a program about this? I don't, I don't mean to always bring it back to spotlight programs, but we do have a great program about that exact thing about, um, caring for people with dementia. I think it's called dementia care. So people who can't remember or whatever, um, they can come live in this village where they essentially just live a safe and healthy life and they don't have to worry about the truth outside of that village but they can be happy inside it. They don't have to constantly learn about something um, sad in their lives or that, you know, you know people that they love. These have days, died. I feel like That's if a, that village were offered to me, I would take that village. Yeah. <laughs> um, well, okay. So, yes, I think, I think a lot of people do lie in their lives, um, at least in a little bit. Um, so, what makes that? something that we do or not do like what yeah. are those sort of things and that is what this program is really about i love that it um it starts with an example from a study so somebody actually did a study um where they dropped wallets so something that people keep their money and maybe like a picture of their kids or their family or their loved one um and it had some it had a key in it and some of the wallets had a little bit amount of money and some of them had a lot of money and they basically brought these wallets i think there were 17,000 yeah, of them a vast and they brought number. them to yeah huge um so they brought them to different countries all around the world and they brought them to hotels and police stations and um there were other places that they brought them. Um, anyway, places that people would turn in wallets and they would tell the people there like, here, I found this on the sidewalk outside. Can you please go find out whose it is and return it to them? And then the, the person running the study would leave or whoever was dropping it off. And um, then there was a phone number inside the wallets, I think, or some, some way yep. to contact the study. And... Uh, they, they studied how many of these wallets were returned and they found some really weird things. So, for example, uh, Adam, I know you would return a wallet. I, I but... would. <laughs> I would. I know, me too. And I'll t I'll, um, I've got a good story about something that happened to me, but I want to hear more ooh, about this. Yes. This, uh... Oh, I can't wait to hear it. Okay. So, basically, they found a couple things. One, if the wallet had more money in it, if it had, say, 100 US dollars versus 10 US dollars, the, they were more likely to return a wallet with more money. Right. Which seems like, it seems counterintuitive. You would think that maybe somebody would take the money and then return the wallet or whatever. Yeah. Um, they also found that it was more likely it would be returned if it had, like, a key in it. Um, yeah. Oh, so maybe. Okay. Yeah, maybe like somebody thought, oh, they must need that key or whatever. Yeah. So some of these things um, we talk about in the program, and that was, this is a great experiment, I think, to learn about. Yeah. Anyway, but I would love to hear your story about, oh, what I was saying, though, is, and this is, this is a nice way to segue into what you're saying is, like, so if you were that person who got that wallet, what would you do? Would this you be is, honest? So here's here's the story. That's great. Yeah. Okay. So my my story is a little different because it doesn't involve okay. a wallet. Um, but I went. This was many years ago when I was a college student. I was going up to an automatic teller machine to withdraw some money. This is just oh, one of those uh -huh. machines, and I can't remember if I was in a car and it was one that you drive up to or not. Right. But I walked up to the machine. Nobody was around anywhere. And it was, mm -hmm. you know, in the evening, not too late. I walked up to the machine and on the screen it said, would you like another transaction? Ooh. So in that moment, I realized that someone had left their card yeah. in, in the machine and the machine was active. I could say, withdraw yeah. $200. Withdraw. You could have cleaned them out. Could have cleaned them out. So... In the comments below, I want everybody to to put what you think I did before you bef stop <laughs> yeah. this video. Type what you think I did. Yeah, type it in. And then Can I guess come back did? and press play. And now I'll tell you. So what I did I was I pressed. Did. No, I pressed. Okay, fine. Give me the get the card back. So I took the card. So yeah. now I have someone's bank card. 
Yeah. And I will be honest. It did occur to me that there is at those little places they do have cameras so they would see my face. So even if I took money out, I would get that's caught. That's true. That's true. So that's that gets back into why people lie or maybe, you know, if they think yes. they're going to get caught. So I yeah. knew I would get caught. So, I mean, I would like to have, you know, be a good person, but also I knew I didn't want to get. So I found the card and I was mm -hmm. able to find a name of somebody who, who lived nearby through, um, uh -huh, I don't remember uh -huh. how I found, found this, but. You didn't recognize this person. Did, I didn't know, know this person. person. It was just, you know, yeah. any, any old name. But um, I, so I went there and, and I, I called, I found a phone number. They're like, oh yeah, could you drop it off? And I thought, could I drop it off? What, yeah. you, why don't <laughs> you like come and get, get this? I was a little, I was a little like, they, were, they weren't thankful. They were kind of grumpy. Yeah. And I thought, well, this isn't fun. So yeah, I wonder if that influences it as well. Like maybe that experience would influence yeah. If you found that again, I thought I'd get a little reward, you know, because oh, I was like yeah. I could have taken all your money. But so yeah. so the end of the story is though I I got to this house and it wasn't easy. I didn't have a car at the time, so it took a little. So you did drop it off. I did. I knocked on the door. Wow. And he, and he said, "Come in." I was like, "Come in." You're not even going to come to the door. Well, it turns out this person was in a wheelchair and had like two broken legs oh my goodness so he so i felt really bad and i think was on some pain medication had had some yeah. leg surgery um so here's another um element to whether people lie and now i know this was stealing a little bit like we're getting into stealing mm -hmm. um right but uh who are you who are you lying to? Who are you stealing from? Cuz once I saw that my whole story I was telling myself changed. And I thought, right. "Oh, if they had been some like, <clears throat> you know, I'm a a millionaire and oh, I would have been yeah. like, oh, he could have, you know, given set given me a, you know, $20 reward or or something, yeah. you know, been like that, but I was like, oh, you know, it made me feel good that I hadn't you know, stolen or lied or done anything like that. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, there's an example in the program as well of like, um, you know, your stereotypes influence whether you will be honest or not. Mm. So if you think that all people are, the example in the program is, you know, if you think all people from a country are not honest, you maybe won't be honest toward those people. So, oh. but, you know, if you have stereotypes about anybody, you know, maybe you would have a stereotype about millionaires. And, right. and is it any, is it be better honest. to lie to a millionaire than to, you know, somebody who's not rich? Well, with money. But, yeah. Or like to not lie at all. I, you know, honestly, okay, so part of the reason, and I think, I think most of the, what I took from this program, that most of the reason that people don't lie, that they are honest is because of empathy mm. and they put themselves in the position of that person yeah who lost that wallet or lost that that atm card or um you know who they're about to take advantage of and they put themselves in the position of that person and they feel like what would i feel like if someone was dishonest to me yeah. Which also means that if they feel people are dishonest to them, they might be more likely to be dishonest. Yeah. So I think that's a, a big part of what I took away from this program is that when you put yourself in someone else's position, you really are more honest. Yeah, I think that's I think not only are you more honest, but you are all 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 good things. You're more patient. You're more yeah. kind, you're more gracious, all all the ways that you would like to be treated. Um, I think you start to have those characteristics in yourself. And that's why, you know, empathy is so yeah. important in all things. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this so I, I would say this if you haven't if you've gotten all the way through this and you have not. Um, listen to this program. It's a very interesting study that's talked about. There are some interesting yeah. things that we haven't had a chance to get to about different countries' honesty level or about different... Um, there were two different studies and one was more honest in one way. 
one in the other. Yeah, that is strange, isn't it? That that a country that was more honest in one experiment was less honest in another experiment, depending on what you could do. Right. It is really interesting to sit, well, studying people is interesting. And yeah, why, and that's why, why we're, we're so, I mean, this is just what we love to do is talk about. I mean, Spotlight is a great way to practice your English, but it's a fascinating way to engage with the world. And we're, I think we're pretty yeah. proud of this, this particular program. So yeah, um, it is. It's really cool. And I think like you touched on before, you know, with maybe like older people or with with kids when we were talking about that, like it really does impact so much of our lives and right. like how we interact with the world. So I would love to hear like what people would do in that experiment. Like, do you think of yourself as an honest person? Um, have you ever been in that position? Or have you ever been in that position and maybe made a choice that you did not, were not proud of later? Um, and yeah, don't put, anything in the, don't put anything in the comments yeah. that will get you arrested. We don't want confessions. Yeah, please don't. But we do have some great concrete ideas for, at the end of the program, for if you want to be more honest, uh, though there are some ways that you can stop lying in your life or be more honest um, going forward. And so we really hope that you check this program out. And while you're doing that, if you're on YouTube, if you could give this program a little like, either on the original program or on this program, that would be really helpful to us. I'll be real honest. It will be really helpful. Um, and so um, you can also subscribe so that you never miss any Spotlight English content. And uh, we hope that you check out this program, the advanced version, and even the no music version. Any of those versions that are good for you on our website, on our podcast, on YouTube, Instagram, or Twitter, and anywhere else that you get your podcasts. So um, yeah, let us know what you think of this program and visit our website at spotlightenglish.com. You can sign up for scripts by email to always be sure you get our scripts every week the no excuses English practice for you every week that we help you out with and um, become a YouTube member. Those are all of the ways that you can help support Spotlight, but also uh, grow in your English learning and practicing. And so until next time, be honest, uh, come back. Yes. And until next time, listen, watch, practice, and learn. Spotlight out. Spotlight out.